you probably know my make a light bulb video and everybody has been telling me in the comments that it looks like potion and I never thought anything about it until this guy thought of a great idea to make a drinking potion that makes effect on the player and now we'll make a speed potion out of a light bulb so let's import our model this one well it, do it does look like a potion okay so let's ungroup this just slightly remodel it let's make this brown pink bright pink so this part will be a handle and this part will be the welded thing so we'll go here and add a weld and now down here we'll set the handle and our part so this is linked now as you can see and then we'll do that for the second part too we'll link the first part and the handle like this so now we'll just put them in a tool let's add a tool to the workspace now let's put them inside now let's put the tool in the starter pack and name it speed potion let's test to see how does it look we've got a speed potion here looking like this maybe we should make this smaller maybe like this let's properly grip it let's set this to 90 okay and now we're missing just on a placement grip I mean the position so we'll go to workspace to our character let's find the speed potion and here in the grip we'll just move it up a little bit no not to the side and a little forward not too much 0 0.5 0 0.4 okay maybe like this okay so it works now now let's copy and paste them here in the position like this and now we've got a tool now we will add a script and let's type script.parent I mean the potion dot activated that is the function when player clicks on the tool while it is equipped connect function player okay so we'll just type p now we gotta find the sound that will be played i found this one and let's insert it now let's drop the sound to the tool and we can yeah we'll keep the name drink now we'll type script.parent dot drink to dots play and down here we'll make the player become faster so the default speed for the player is 16 and we wanna make it for example 30 so we can see the difference when someone drinks the potion so let's just type script.parent dot parent dot humanoid dot speed uh, walk 
speed is equal to 30 and then we will wait for example 40 seconds for the potion to cool off and then his speed will be 16 again and now let's test the script okay and this is our normal walk speed but when we click on the potion the sound plays and now we're a lot faster and now let's speed this up okay so it did now this line here maybe the player unequips the tool so it will be no longer be script.parent.parent.humanoid.walkspeed but instead we'll make a random variable so variable instance new object value and then var dot value will be equal to script dot parent dot humanoid and then it will never be lost again now we'll just put wait for six seconds to just to test it okay so we're loaded we drain the potion and now we're fast now we'll wait six seconds and nothing happens we're immortal to the end of the potion let's see what happened humanoid is not valid member of backpack okay Oh, I see. Uh, this thing should be assigned before we are waiting. Okay, let's test it again. Okay, we drank the potion, we unequipped it, and then we're going and going, and now we are slowed down. So, the potion cooled off. Now here we can also add an animation to play or maybe some side effects to show a player that he really is under effect of the potion to make his gameplay look more realistic and more interesting but we'll keep that for the next video. Thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if this helped you and I'll see you in the next one